Hey folks, welcome to our special JBO workshop segment. Today we're going to talk about putting a new shrink wrap on a top reader. First of all, let's take a look at a top reader as it, as it looks like, as it looks in the package. You see in the package it comes like this with a pre-attached shrink wrap. Now the shrink wrap is on these lures initially to stop the tail hook from fouling on the tail piece when it's rotating. That's why we put this on here in the first place. For some of you wondering why we, why we do this. So, after you catch a few muskies, you might damage that shrink wrap. They last a long time, but you might damage that shrink wrap over time and you're gonna have to replace it. Here's how you replace it. First of all, you, of course, you cut off the old shrink wrap and detach the hook. I've detached all the hooks on the lure here. And you're gonna need some tin foil, split ring pliers, some kind of a heat source. I'm using uh, just a little uh, Bic lighter here. Um, all kinds of different heat sources work. Uh, I've got a hook replacement kit that JBL sells here that has all of the items, the hook, the shrink tubing, and some extra split rings right in with it. And then uh, you can replace, also you can replace, uh, replace when you cut a hook off of, of, of from catching a muskie, if you cut hooks off, you're going to have to do this as well. And so we're going to do this on this top reader from, the, from scratch here. First things first, you take your shrink, rep, shrink tubing and you put it over the treble hook and get it on the shank of the hook. Now, the best shrink tubing for this stuff barely fits. The stuff that's a little bit looser, it works, but it's harder to work with, especially with a lure like this. It works easier with a bucktail than it does with a top reader because you've got to force that shrink tubing up into that cylinder on, on the bait. And then uh, step number two is putting the split ring on. Now, we, I want to use a small, extra heavy-duty split ring like this. This is a number five or a number six, so that the shrink tubing slides over it nice. And then of course, we're, then we're going to put attach this to, back to the lure. Okay, then we're going to slide. I'll put it like this here so you can see it. We're going to slide the shrink tubing over the split ring, and I'm working it real slowly like this. And of course, this takes this takes some doing. I'll put it down here like this. Maybe it's easier for you folks to see. And then I'm going to keep working it until I get it over that hook hanger. That's the critical part. See how it, I'm walking it from the back, the tailpiece, in the middle of it. And I'm just rotating it until I push it over that hook hanger. Okay, once I get it over that hook hanger real nice, force it right up in there. See, it's almost encapsulating that hook hanger. Once it does that, once you've got it up in there real nice, and you want to use as much of that shrink tubing as you can, you want it, you, you need it, you need to get it in three spots. You need to protect the, the eyelid of the hook, the split ring, and encapsulate the hook hanger so that the bait hangs like this. Okay, to finish it off, you need the uh, tin foil. And the tin foil is to protect the finish on the lure. So I'm going to wrap one piece around the tail, the, uh, the metal tail piece like this. I'm going to wrap the other piece around the body of the lure. And we're trying to protect the paint finish is what we're trying to do here. Okay, when we're all ready to go there, I'm going to lay this down here like this, and then I'm going to take my heat source. Then I'm going to take my heat source, and I'm just going to heat this up and rotate the bait. Put a little angle on See, I've got the little downward angle on the hook, so that heat is rising right up into that cavity there. And watch the, the shrink wrap. As soon as it starts to shrink around the bait, you're done. And when it's done, now you detach your your foil, you protected your finish nice, detach it from the, the rotator, and voila, you have a brand new shrink tube and a brand new hook on your top reader.